back with another Classic WoW video. So today we have some massive news that we have to talk about just for Classic WoW overall, not just for Hardcore this time. This could affect some possible Hardcore servers later down the line, it's also definitely going to affect Classic Era for those of you who are going to play on Classic Era, and it's going to affect a future fresh Classic WoW server as well and even Season of Mastery 2 when that comes out, or it's not going to be called Season of Mastery 2, but you get the point, the new season will also be affected by this. It's basically affecting the whole of the Classic WoW universe and it's a very good change, if you ask me. So basically, yesterday, a new PTR for Classic Era went up with level 60 template characters to test out a brand new PvP system. Now, in this video, we will go through the entire blue post, read through everything, I will come with my own comments on it as well, and before we do that, I do want to give a quick TLDR of what this update is. For those of you who don't want to sit there through the entire blue post, because let's be real, the blue post is pretty long in this case, and we're going to be sitting through everything. So, I've been testing this out the last, um, well, yesterday. I tested this out quite a bit for 5-6 hours, just went into some Wars and Gulch, did some dueling, did some open world PvP, and just tested out the brand new PP system and checked it out. Now, when you're playing the game, pretty much nothing has changed for you, right? PvP is still PvP. You're going to be doing Warzone Gulch, or I guess you would rather do Aldrak Valley at some point and have a pre-made or something, but at the end of the day, you're just doing regular PvP. On a face level, the system itself might not have changed too much, but when it comes to reality and the way things work, it has changed quite a bit, in a very good way if you ask me, allowing more people to get access to rank 14, and no longer having to quit your job, divorce your wife, leave your family behind, and just play WoW for 20 hours every single day, right? You can you can fi finally get rank 14 now without doing all of that stuff, without abandoning your life, which I think is great. So this new PP system, even though it's not everything I was asking for, I think it's a very good one overall, and it stays within the boundaries and within it, it respects the lines and the rules of Classic WoW, basically. It respects the outline of PvP, the way it's supposed to be in Classic WoW, while also introducing a new PvP system, pretty much absolutely perfect. So after testing this out, my TLDR version for anyone who's like interested in the yeah, the TLDR version of what this update is. Imagine you're running a race, or imagine you're just running, and in this case, the way it worked before was that if I ran 10 miles and you ran 11 miles, you would get a higher rank than me. So I would have to run 12 miles, and then you would run 13, and whoever, like, push, you push that boundary up and up, and only a certain percentage of the player base got the maximum rank that week, right? And only a certain percentage of the player base got rank 14. It was borderline impossible for 50% of the player base to be rank 14 because it was based on a player versus player basis. Now it's a different. Now you can you don't have to compete with your own faction anymore. You have a cap every single week, and as long as you reach that cap, you are good to go. So, for example, in this case, in Instead of me running 10 miles, then you running 11, then me having to run 12, if the cap was 12 miles, I could run 12 miles for that week, and then I'm done for the week. Basically look at it like if you played Wrath, or if you played uh, Retail, you have a Justice Point cap, Valor Point cap, Conquest Point cap for PvP and so on, we basically have a cap. And when you reach that cap, you're good to go. Now, especially like knowing where that cap is, we will probably know more about the numbers later down the line, but for now it's 750,000 on their points, which is the cap. I don't really know how fast that is to get, I have no reference to Classic WoW, but let's just say to reach the cap you would have to be in a pre-made for between 15 to 20 hours every single week. I'm guessing it's actually only going to be more than that, but let's just say 15 to 20 hours. In that case, once you reach that cap, you're done for the week. And also, when it comes to the actual de-ranking system, or the decay system, there's still going to be a decay, because I think Blizzard feels like decays in Classic WoW, the PvP system, is just too important to the system itself, and to um, basically, yeah, just the decay is still there, but it's way less punishing. The way it worked before was that if you were rank 14 and you were inactive for a while, you would de-rank to rank 13 and even lower as well if you kept being inactive. This time, decay is still there, but it will never never de-rank you, so if you get to rank 13 once, you're good to go, you can just stay at rank 13 and even if you get DK and you, the decay takes you down, there will be a cap on how far down you can go, in which case you will never de-rank from DK. 
And that's like the TLDR. You no longer have to compete where if I farmed 20 hours every single day, you would have to do the same because once again, there's a weekly cap. Now, half how fast you reach that cap depends a little bit on your gameplay, what battlegrounds you do, what pre-made you're in, if you're in a pre-made, and so on, right? Let's just say someone farms 100,000 honor points per hour, but you only get 50,000. Obviously, the people that farm 100,000 will reach a cap way faster than you, but there is a cap, and I, I th personally think that's great. Now, before we get any further into my opinions on this, let's read the blue post, and I'll try to go through my opinions uh, at the end. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so for this part of the video, we're going to read through the entire blue post. If you don't want me reading this to you, you can check it out yourself on Wowhead. It's literally right there. But it's the patch 1.14.4 updated PvP honor system for WoW Classic Era. Blizzard has shared a lengthy blue post detailing the upcoming changes to the WoW Classic PTR, which is currently testing the updated PvP honor system. Today we have temporarily closed the Hardcore PTR Realm and opened a new PTR Realm that only allows template characters for testing the major update version 1.14.4 brings to Classic Era PvP. Before we dive into the system and how it's changed, here's a glossary of terms for those who are less familiar with the current version of the system on 1.14.3, so regular Classic Era Realms. Now quickly before that, they closed down the Hardcore servers, right, the Hardcore PTR, and they will be down for roughly one week, and I believe they doing this because they want as many people as possible to actually try out the PTR, or try out PvP on the PTR, right, the PvP PTR. So they want as many people as possible to jump on, do some PvP, and just do some shenanigans, get some PvP in their database, so they can um, smooth this out for launch later down the line, right? So they're closing the PTR, and one more factor that actually points towards them wanting you to do PvP is that on these servers you can't do raids. You have level 60 template characters, so some people were planning to test out their raid strategies for hardcore, and people were planning to farm some dungeons at level 60 and so on. You can't do level 60 content other than PvP. The open world is still there, questing is still there, so you can do some strategizing and some theory crafting, but dungeons and raids are simply not available at least right now. Okay, with that being said, let's go back to the blue post, and these terms I'm not going to read through. If you want to read through those, you can do so yourself, but it's just like defining the actual terms here. So rank, we know what that is, honorable kill, dishonorable kills, and so on, contribution points, that's the one right here that is important, which is basically, uh, you, can, you can think about it like rank points, but it's a little bit different. Okay. When setting out to design a new system, we looked at some of the primary problems with the old system and used these as a basis for what we felt needed to change for the new system to be healthier. Number one, there's a lot of pressure to grind HKs non-stop. Exactly what I was referring to, people just play the game 20 hours a day, and they actually ignore their families and just play the game completely like, yeah. You get the point. Since players are being ranked versus other players in their same faction, taking a break might mean that you lose your desired spot in a particular rank bracket. DK, uh, DK, I don't know what to say on well, DK, DK, uh, yeah, also contributes to this somewhat, though not nearly as much as how RP is awarded, so that's rank points. Since players are ranked based on a percentage of how many PvP participants there are, some players will engage in an activity called pool boosting. We saw this a bunch in Classic WoW, people even set up bot operations to increase the pool. Now, pool boosting refers to the process of artificially inflating the total pool of players in a system so that each rank bracket are larger and allow a larger number of people within the large bracket or the each bracket to rank up. This is often done through the use of automation, bots, and for example, someone will run bots that will kill one another repeatedly until they reach a minimum required number of kills per week to become a part of the ranking system. Then they switch to a new character and they repeat. There were numerous botting operations set up for this in Classic WoW, and people even had several accounts to pool boost. I know one person, like a real life friend of mine, he had six Classic WoW accounts set up with level 5 or level 10 characters, I don't remember what the actual threshold was, but you just had to be a certain, I don't know if you had to be a certain level, but you just had to do PvP or something, right? He had 6 different accounts set up that he pool boosted with every single week. That's like how insane, like people went to insane lengths to get their rank 14, and they wanted as many people as possible to get rank 14, so you just had to 
to actually boost the brackets, right? Or boost the pool. So bracket fixing becomes a meta. Some players work together to take turn in, to take turns in a top percentile bracket, which allows them to increase the number of people who earn top tier rewards and lowers the honor ceiling for each bracket. This isn't strictly a bad thing as players of the same faction often work together to ensure there is a pecking order and that over time more people earn rewards with less grinding needed by effectively capping the honor at the amount of honor each rank needs to earn each week. This isn't really in the spirit of the old system. Ideally, if players put in the effort, they should be rewarded and shouldn't feel pressured to be a part of the in-group to earn top PvP rewards. This also often leads to conflict amounts among players on the same faction when players break the fixed bracket limits for their current rank and essentially raise the amount of honor everyone else in the higher ranks need to earn that week to not stall out their ranking efforts or even decay and lower their rank progress. Now the old PvP owner system script is complex, takes a long time to run, and is error prone. Honor is updated each week via a script run against the database, which performs various calculations to convert each player's contributions to CP contribution points and rank players against one another based on their current rank. Expected CP, RP, so this is um, contribution point, rank points, and other factors. And this script is essentially unchanged since 2005, meaning it's very old, it's outdated at this point, and while it is mostly functional, it can become stuck or hit unexpected delays based on various con conditions and cause the weekly honor update to take many hours, or in some extreme cases, days to complete. This makes the entire system stressful for those who are eagerly waiting to see where they landed for the previous week's contributions. We wish to overhaul and replace the script with a more permanent and modern solution. Probably showing you on the day or at the weekly reset, right? Now let's look at the high level goals of the new system. Number one, eliminate ranking points. Competing against your own faction for standing is interesting in principle. It kind of is, um, but in execution has a lot of problems based on the points listed above. People would just grind the game 24 hours a day. The system is easily meta gamed and encourages many weeks or months of high levels of play. Our goal for the new system is to grant ranks based on whether the players hit specific honor milestones with an increasing level of participation and challenge needed to maintain their progress as the weeks go by and the player moves through the ranks. Another one is to grant honor and honor points at the same time at the time of the HK, so honorable kill or dishonorable kill, when it's earned. In the old system, this occurs at the end of the day. Players would prefer to see their progress towards honor milestones in real time. Now, another one is to move the weekly honor updates to a more efficient and performant method of updating individual player ranks. Without RP, we can move to a model, well, rank points by the way, we can move to a model where you see your rank changes right when you log in after the weekly reset, rather than waiting for the honor script to process all participants on your realm. Removing deranking. This one I talked about, right? Decay is still something we wanted to maintain, but deranking down to a lower rank is especially punishing at higher ranks when you need to maintain a constant and high level of play to keep up. The need to take time off could greatly hinder the progress of someone ranking. <clears throat> And in some brackets, taking even a few days or a week off could cost the player multiple weeks of progress. So it's just like scales. The higher rank you are, like one day off means you would have to grind three or four days to get back to where you were. Now I'm not going to go through all of this, but basically now that we have established that uh, what a few key terms mean, gone over the largest problems with the old system and defined some of our goals, here's a rundown of behavioral changes between the old and the new system. And as you can see as I just scroll down here, a bunch of things are the same. But for example here, is player standing displayed in the UI for last week, yes before and no now. Or yeah, old system, new system, right? So here as well you have this one, how often are ranking points awarded weekly and never because they no longer exist. And this one will honor decay infinitely, it, before it would just decay into, in, until you have nothing left and now you can no longer de-rank from decay. When do the stats for this week and lifetime update? Once per day and now it's going to be immediately. Can a player see their standing versus other players in the UI before you could and now it's no. Players are no longer compared with one another so standing has been removed from the UI. Now let's take a look at the new user interface which is like this 
this is what it's, going to, what it's going to look like. There's not too many changes here, um, as you can see right here. It should look and feel nearly identical to the previous system's interface, with the only major difference being the omission of standing from the last week's section. We encourage PTR testers to participate in Battlegrounds there to get a feel for how earning HKs, honourable kills, and honour in real time works, and also to populate our database with PvP data to help us ensure that everything is working correctly under the hood. The total honour needed to hit the highest CP level is currently set to 750,000 honour, meaning that if you get at least 750k for the week, you will earn the maximum amount of rank increase for that week. This is subject to change before the patch actually goes live. Now, there's also a hard cap on how far you can progress in a given week, and the minimum number of weeks required to hit rank 14 is currently set to 8 on the PTR. I'm hoping this is increased for when it goes live. Um, 8 weeks to go from rank 1 to rank 14, I don't know if that's enough. I would rather have 12, but maybe that's just me. This was a very dense explanation, mostly due to the fact that the old system is very complex. The TLDR here is that ranking up is now much more straightforward. You will simply need to hit specific milestones of honor points gained every single week to progress through PvP ranks. There we go, a lengthy blue post, probably one of the longer ones we've had in quite a while. So what are my thoughts here? Let me actually go back to the other window capture in two sec. So initially, I was hoping for a PvP system that would reward you based on skill, and not based on time spent, but that might have been me having some hopeful thinking, and having a system that would reward you based on skill rather than time spent would pretty much require them to put in rated battlegrounds, and possibly even arenas with classic WoW, right? I don't see any other way to actually reward based on skill, other than that maybe have like dueling points or something, I don't know, but personally I just feel like even for PvP, it's should be more based on skill rather than time spent. If you compare this with raiding for example, right now if you PvP, even if even if you have a weekly cap, all you have to do to get rank 14 is PvP. You just have to do some PvP, get some uh, get some honorable kills, I guess that's where the skill comes in, the more kills you get, the more honor you get, the faster you get rank 14, but based on there being, being a cap now, all you have to do is just queue for battlegrounds 24-7, and eventually you will get rank 14, which is very strong gear by the way, at the launch of a fresh server. Even in phase 2, when Blackwing Lear comes out, this gear is very strong, it keeps being very strong until something like AQ comes out, so the rank 14 gear is very strong, and the only thing you need to do is to spend some time. When it comes to raids, I'm not going to say raids in Classic WoW are difficult, but you need to have the knowledge and the skill to kill a boss. You can't just enter Molten Core, stand inside Molten Core, kill some trash, and um, basically just stand inside Molten Core for 50 hours and then get a loot. It doesn't happen. You have to manage to somehow kill a boss to get that loot, right? If you compare that to PvP, uh, it's just not the same to me. Because once again, even though raids are easy in Classic WoW, you still have to kill those bosses, which requires a certain number of skill. For PvP, it's literally all, all you have to do is click a few buttons and get a couple of vulnerable kills, which you don't even have to solo. As a warlock, I can just run around, throw corruptions on everyone, and I will still get the vulnerable kill. If I just throw one corruption and run away, right, and someone else on my team kills that person, I will still get the vulnerable kill, in that case. So, I just feel like the skill isn't really there, and you're still more rewarded based on time spent rather than skill, but maybe that's just like how Classic WoW works overall. It's always been a very time intensive game, leveling takes time, pretty much everything, ta everything takes time, and it's just you're meant to spend time, so maybe I'm thinking about it completely wrong, but I would love to see a PvP system that rewards you based on skill rather than time spent. Maybe that's something they can do for Classic Plus. Classic Plus, like Classic WoW well, with rated battlegrounds and arenas, that could be very interesting. But that's pretty much what I have for you today. I wanted to cover the system, give you a TLDR for anyone who doesn't want to read the blue post, and I also wanted to read the blue post to anyone who can't be bothered to read it for themselves, and come with my own opinions after both reading it, testing it, playing battlegrounds, and just thinking about it for a bit.
So yeah, there it is. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Once again, I'll be playing Classic WoW, both Classic Era and Hardcore live on Twitch and Kick pretty much every single day. The links are down below. Actually, today is Saturday and I might not be live today, but if not, then I'll probably be live tomorrow. So either way, throw me a follow and catch me live. That's pretty much what I have. Leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment on what you think about the new system. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you again very soon.